guys, Haz here from Shield K9. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I start teaching puppies positions. This here is Wilson, he's a nine week old, Presa Canario. We're gonna be starting him on his positions. Sit, down, and stand. I'm using his kibble, in case you're wondering what kind of treat I'm using. All I'm gonna be doing is luring the dog into positions, marking, and rewarding. I'm gonna get the dog following my hand first, and I'm gonna mark and reward for him following my hand. So you'll see he's pretty focused on my hand because he knows where the kibble is. I'm just trying to be interesting, and I'm also trying to get into the puppy's head a little bit that, hey, choop, the reward is in my hand, so follow my hand. The reason why I want this puppy following my hand is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to lure him into the positions. So you'll see, we'll start with a sit, very easy. Choop. You'll notice I pull up, his bite goes down, I mark, he gets the food. For the down, again, pretty easy. I move my hand down and back a little bit. Choop. And you'll notice that he slides back into a down. A lot of people make this mistake. They move their hand down. See how the dog walked forward into the down? It creates a two-stage down. So when you tell the dog to down, the dog is gonna kind of walk forward slowly into down. I prefer the dog to pop backwards into a down. So if you look at the dog's anatomy and structure, you'll see how his body works. He folds backward naturally. So again, watch that. Good boy. And it's about teaching the dog the muscle memory of the position. Now we're gonna get into the stand. So you'll see again, he's very focused on my hand and he knows that the good things come from my hand. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the puppy in front of me. I'm gonna try to touch his nose to his chest, just as you see here. And you can see he went into a down, right? And that's a common problem a lot of people have. I'm just not gonna reward him when he doesn't do what I want him to do. So I'm gonna keep my hand up, I'm gonna pull him forward a little bit, and you'll see the moment that he pulls it off. Sometimes you can help with your second hand. See that? His back end popped up. The moment his back end popped up, I marked and rewarded, all right? I like my, when I teach the stand, I teach my dogs to back into a stand, essentially. So, again, for the stand. And you can see he kind of backed into the stand. It takes a little bit of repetition for your puppy to get this. So don't do the same thing over and over again. Sometimes mix it up. And you'll notice that I don't really give him any commands yet. That's because right now it's not about teaching commands. It's about teaching the dog. It's about teaching him the muscle movement that's required to hit the positions that I want. So it's three positions. It's down. It's sit. And then finally it's stand. You can see he pulled all three off there. Once the dog shows proficiency in the muscle memory, then you can start naming it. And it's all just kind of fun and food. But this is kind of where I start with um, you know young puppies. Just the, the sit, the down, the stand. 